Uh, so he does not see this coming at all. And boom, down they come. SCV going down. He goes for an armory. He will not be able to finish it. And he does not have time to cancel it. I am still building up a marine and marauder ball at my uh, front here because I don't see an army here and that kind of makes me nervous. Um, and I was right, these marines and marauders are going to be going through the front. And they quickly take out another expansion that I was building because I forgot to move these guys out in front of it. Uh, positioning is of course very important. If you cannot attack the guys before they destroy the expansion, then they will destroy the expansion. Stimpak going down a little bit late for me, but there's still a couple guys that could not get into the big concave. And of course, um, almost all my marines died. The marauders cannot attack the air, so the medevac is able to pick up a few guys up. Pick up a few guys up. That make that makes sense. Um, and he lifts off his base and moves it. Oh, I hate when players do this. I never do this ever. Well, I'll lift off the base if um, I'm completely mined out, if it got to like the 30 or 40 minute mark, and you know, both of these Vespine geysers are out, there's no minerals left, then yeah, I'll lift off that base and move it for a new expansion. But I don't move it because it's under attack ever. Um, there, there's really no reason to do this. This game is pretty much over, except, oh my gosh, I'm completely mined out of my main. I have no minerals left. I cannot build an expansion. I thought about lifting off this base and moving it, but instead I decided to long distance mine, so he's not, he probably assumes that he is completely out of this game, but he is not, because I simply don't have anything left to, um, any money left. But I do have a huge lead in the army count. Um, really, this is all that he's got left right there. Um, he's got an engineering bay. He does have a couple um, units left in his expansion. Um, and he does have the... He, he does have the island expansion, which is always nice because I will not get that for a while. And I do supply lock him here because I hate supply depots. So I take them out. I notice that they're all behind his minerals here. I don't agree with that simply because I want to keep missile turrets there. That's where I keep my missile turrets. So I don't put the uh, supply depots behind the base. He's 54 out of 22. He cannot produce anything for a long time. But this mar this marauder comes down, sees the the army here, and he is going to be able to clean this up, and he's going to be able to save his expansion for another day. And here I should go in and see. Hey, he does not have much here, so I should move in with what little I have left. But no, I'm kind of scared because they're not that much. But really, I mean, I have a huge lead here, and I need to finish the game. So I I keep the 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 medevacs out here, and what am I doing? It doesn't look like I'm doing all that much. Um, I, oh, there we go. I'm loading uh, Marines and Marauders into Medivacs here, and I'm queuing them up. I'm going to go around and drop them off here onto the expansion. I should have picked up the Siege Tank. If the Siege Mode did finish, that, of course, would do a lot of damage. Um, he does see the Medivacs with a couple Marines and a Marauder, uh, but they was not able to finish the job there. And they run back to the base, as they should, to try to do any uh, sort of saving that he can. And I still don't see any supply depots coming out of him so really he's I don't know he's kind of given up on this game it looks like because uh, really if it wasn't for the fact that I didn't have any minerals left because I I was stupid about my expansion I I sh would have had this game done already so I'm taking out what I can here I do have the high ground and it's not doing that much for me here as much as I thought it would, uh, because he does have all those medevacs still alive. Uh, but now that they're now that everything's gone, I can't take out this bunker here. So I start to try to get yeah everybody move. Okay, let's start taking out the refinery, all that kind of stuff. Now let's move out and drop on the ground here. And still no 
supply depots coming from him. He does have another command center on the way. He does have a ton of mineral sinks uh, to the mules here. And of course, tons, oh my gosh, he's got five command centers on the way. As this battle is going down, uh, he's completely just, he's out. He does not have an army anymore. He's down to just medevacs and he doesn't have any production facilities. He's down to this bunker and supply depots. He finally started getting supply depots. Um, and of course those those command centers coming up uh, will give him supply as well. So I'm taking out what I can. Oh my gosh, what is, he does have that factory still floating up in the air. I, he, he should have landed that and started producing Hellions siege tank something out of there um all he's got left are these five medevacs uh that are just floating around all over the place and here when i see this i you know i clicked up there these marauders are stupid and running around the long way um when i saw this i thought for a second oh my gosh he rebuilt the base here how could he do that he must have flown things off over here and flew them back but yeah no no he doesn't uh, he's just really being a jerk. <laughs> there, there's really not much more to it. Um, yeah, uh, he's yeah. I hate people that do this. I still, I, I'm starting to produce again now that I have this command center up and running, and still full energy on this orbital command. I, I you know, I have so many minerals and gas. I'm not producing at all. Trying to get some pot shots off on these medevacs. He's only got three left. Coming into his base, I, there's two barracks that he built floating off, and now he's got a command center flowing off. He did starting to get barracks at a separate base, but really, I mean, this game has been over for what seems like forever now, but he's, he's still going. I do have Vikings out on the field because I saw how big of a jerk he was going to be, and I'm just like, fine, I'll just go mass Vikings then. Uh, so I am starting to get Vikings out. And I, I actually do supply lock myself again. Um, he is going, f oh my gosh, the factory is now going to die. It is only a matter of time. Um, barracks starting to fly back, so I start to take those out as well, because the factory does blow up there. And the orbital, well, no, it's just a command center, just floating off in space there. And I'm starting to send armies out because I see, you know, this this guy's going to make me destroy every building that he has. I hate when people do that. Once again, I never do that. Don't do that. That's, that's horrible to make somebody do. So I go down here and I'm like, okay, let's check out the other main bases. See what he's got going on. And I take out the expansion here. See that there's nothing over here, so I should be selecting these guys any minute now and sending them down. Taking out the the medevacs, he still hasn't produced a single unit. Those medevacs dying. Okay, two two marines out just now. Uh, now it's just down to one marauder. Um, so yeah, these guys going around. These guys gonna hang out to make sure he doesn't fly his stuff here, like this barracks is flying all the way over here. And he says, bleh, good game. And I do not say good game back. <laughs> I am sorry. If you do this to me, I will not give you a GG. And he just leaves the game. Because, one, I, I don't believe him. I, I did finally spot this, this command center, and I was almost able to take it out. And really, I mean, this game was over about ten minutes ago, but he refused to leave. And I hate when players start to do that. I did get a Thor out uh, just because I wanted to in case he went for um, anything flying over. And, that, you know, that would do with more damage to it. He did get a factory up. So, I mean, he really did try to rebuild, but it was far too late for him. Um, he ended up wasting all his minerals on the buildings and wasn't able to produce anything. You know, he left, I mean, he got 26 uh, SCVs back up, but really, no, game's over. That was the closest that he would ever be able to get into getting back into this game because I did um, end up being mined out of my main and I had the long distance mine. It probably would have been better if I had just lifted off this orbital command and moved it here. 
but I figured it would be better to long distance mine until I could get a command center up. And really, that's the best case scenario for you when um, when you start lifting off and moving away. And still, he was not even close to coming back in this game. You know, I still had, what was it? You know, huge army, 135 supply. He's still down to 30. I mean, don't do this. You'll never be able to come back. That is why people GG and surrender um, when people start going into their main base. Because it's just not worth it. He wasted, you know, 15 minutes of my time. Well, game time. Because he simply didn't refuse to leave. He, he It's like, no, I'm going to make it, baby. We're still in this. I could have been a, I could have been a contender. Yeah, that's the worst impression I've ever heard in my life. So yeah, so he starts re rebuilding. It does not work out. It never works out. Don't do it. So <laughs> that's the game. Hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Bye.